I'd like to make a reaction about this guy who said that Philippines has a very dolly mat. Dolly mat in English means a very bad food. That's a very strong description, a negative description of something that he knows very little about. So I beg to disagree. That's not true. Don't believe him. So let's watch this very controversial video. Roll tape. Hva med filippinske mattradisjoner? Det har jo liksom aldri snakket noe særlig om. Det er veldig dårlig mat. How I found out about this is in the news. It's all over. This Norwegian Filipino chef has become viral, but not in a good way because he said bad things about Philippines. Not about, well, he said good things about the Philippine beaches. Um, but he said bad things about the Philippine, uh, Philippine food, Philippine food. So this guy, I'd like to make a reaction about this guy who said, Our um, Jonathan Romano chef, who is a very good chef, a very well-known chef, who is uh, Filipino in blood, but he is Norwegian, Norwegian. So I can say he's Norwegian Filipino. He grew up in Norway. So he doesn't know much about the Philippine culture because he went to Norway at a very young age. So we can forgive him for not knowing so much about the Filipino cuisine. But what I cannot forgive is that he said some, something that is kind of unforgivable. When you say veldi dorli mat, it's very bad food. And you have to say the word veldi. Well, anyway, he already apologized and... Uh, uh, many Filipinos might not forgive him because he kind of like justified uh, why he said that because his mother was uh, did not cook well she's kind of like a bad cook and he had uh, worse food when he was a kid uh, what the kind of food that his, his mother served him but I think uh, nobody in this world is in a position to say on TV that any country has a veldi, has veldi dolimat. Nobody can say that because the Filipinos are very proud of their food, their the Filipino cuisine. Uh, it is not just one kind like uh, Japanese are known for sushis and uh, sashimi and stuff like that. Filipinos are not known for anything special except adobo and mechado and afritada and lechon and lumpia and pancit. Well, actually many things. And uh, lechon, of course, is very famous but not for pork eaters. And we also have our beefsteak version, the bistec. Yes, an eel stick thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ja, litt sånn gritter-litter, hvis vi kan si det sånn. Og det, og det pinnene er eh, veldig sånn, her på den sure siden, altså syrlige. Every region in the Philippines is, is like an adventure for you if you go to Philippines. You can go to the northern region and you'll find a lot of veggie stuff. So if you are a vegan, you go to the north and you find a lot of uh, dishes serving purely vegetables, a combi combination of different kinds of vegetables. Like we have Kasambahai at home in Philippines and she's cooking this very delicious vegetables that I cannot find anywhere that I miss so much. It's just mixing them together. I don't know how it's prepared, but very delicious. All kinds of vegetables. The Ilocanos, the Pangasinan, people from Pangasinan and the northern part, the Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, something like that. They have different dish. And people in the uh, the middle part, like in Manila, uh, Pampanga first, Pampanga. Pampanga is the province of my mom. Kapampangans, that's what you call the people living in Pampanga, are known for their cooking skills, except my mom. She doesn't cook well. She doesn't cook at all, actually, because we have somebody cooking for us at home. Because your mother doesn't cook very good Filipino food, it doesn't mean that she represents the country that you can say it's very bad food well i read an article that he mentioned that at one point uh, when he was a kid this filipino chef filipino norwegian chef jonathan romano uh his mother ser served fish with all the inside parts like something like that 
you know so it's kind of like disgusting but you don't serve that on a normal philippine table so i never experienced that so what you experience maybe is not really filipino food it's really not nice to say that det er veldig dårlig mat i kokkeøyne mm. så er det, det er liksom ikke noe matkunst i mine øyne dessverre er... so romano mr romano already apologized he is not really filipino in the mind because i mean culture wise because he grew up in norway he went to norway when he was like uh, three years old something like that that's what i read so we can say that he doesn't know much about philippines so he's not in a position to say anything about the philippine cuisine so mr latoina what can you say about philippine cuisine <laughs> repeat <laughs> Mr. Lutwe. Like approach. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kroons. What can you say about Filipino food? I've been to Philippines a few times and uh, my memories about Philippine food is very good. Very delicious. Different variety of food. Men um, det är er många andra fina ting då med Filippinerna. Vi har ju det bästa stället i världen. Jag liker att vara på ferie där som turist. Ja. But he said that he goes to Philippines to visit, you know, as a tourist. He goes to different beaches to enjoy the country because Philippines is a very beautiful country. And you can enjoy the, nat the nature, especially the coastline, the beaches of the Philippines. But he's there as a tourist. So as a tourist, he is eating only in restaurants. But if you're a local, you will taste different kinds of food you will have the chance to experience in different regions that offer different tastes. Och de har inte den där samma smaksamma som som för exempel Thaimat. Nej. Nej. In the Bicol region you will encounter food which I can describe something like thai because they cook a lot of food with coconut milk and very spicy a different flavor. I am not fond of spicy food, but if you remove a little bit of the spice, it's amazing. So you can try this food from the Bicol region. It's different. It's like going to another country. And if you go to the Visayan region and in the southern region, in the Mindanao region, you will experience different kind of cuisine. So for you, it's like a travel, a food adventure. So that's all I can say. Being a Norwegian myself, I'm a Filipino Norwegian. I'm a Filipino Norwegian saying good things about Filipino food. Om en filippinsk mattradition, det har vi liksom aldrig snakket om särskilt. Det är väldigt dålig mat. He's just saying from his uh, experience probably and uh, his opinion, which is uh, not good to criticize all countries. Country, but the all country has a bad food. Maybe just his experience, what he had. So I understand Filipinos which are a little bit offended by that. Uh -huh. So should we forgive him? Should Filipinos forgive him? Of course. Filipinos are very happy people. They will forgive it. <laughs> yeah. Very Filipinos are very forgiving. Mm. They easily. But you should never, as a chef, you know, to criticize a, as all countries, we have a bad food. It's not such things that exist, you know? So thanks for watching, guys. See you around.